I have absolutely joked in the past that food is my love language. Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm a real estate agent here in Appleton, Wisconsin and I service all of the Fox cities. And today I am here to talk about my favorite, favorite restaurants and what I would order from them. So if you're visiting and not sure where to go, hopefully this will give you some ideas. And if you're just looking to get some new ideas and you're from here, stick around because I've got some great recommendations. First, we have Hopyard Ale Works in Appleton. They are a brewery, so you can get various types of beer on tap there, but they also have wood-fired pizza, and their wood-fired pizza is simply incredible. I would say it is the best in the area. My personal favorite is actually called the My Fave. It is tomatoes, garlic, basil, red sauce, cheese, it's so simple, but it is so, so good. Next, we've got Parker John's Barbecue and Pizza. Hands down, best barbecue in the area. I get the Carolina Barbecue Sandwich. It is pulled pork, coleslaw, onion rings, and then their Carolina mustard sauce, which is kind of like a sweet and tangy, I guess I would describe it as, sauce. It's just the best barbecue sauce ever. Just trust me on it. Um, and then I usually get it with a side of mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese is so, so good. Parker John's has a couple different locations in Wisconsin, but the closest to the Fox Cities will be Appleton, Menasha, and Oshkosh. Next, we've got a Mexican restaurant, and there are a little more high-end, fancier restaurants in the Valley for Mexican food, don't get me wrong, but by far the best that I've had is Fiesta Rodeo in Greenville. I usually order the steak fajitas. I think it's just the classic steak fajitas. They are so good. I am really picky when it comes to steak and chicken, and if I get a chewy piece, it kind of just turns me off the whole meal, and their fajitas, their steak is just so good. I've never had a bad experience there. And of course you get chips and salsa beforehand and that's really good as well. If you're looking to order an alcoholic beverage, I would recommend getting a mojito, but made with Malibu rum instead. Oh my gosh, it is the best. If you're not a huge fan of the seltzeriness or like the bitterness of mojitos, adding in the Malibu will make it a really sweet minty mojito. It's just, you just gotta trust me. Just order it, okay? Next, we're talking about my favorite Rubens. So I have been on a hunt for a Reuben that is better than the bar, and I have failed. I can't find a Reuben that is better than the bar. And yes, I know the bar is a chain, but it's a local chain. So it's similar to Parker John's in the sense that they have various locations in Wisconsin, but they are semi-local. My next recommendation has come close, but hasn't, beat the bars, Ruben. <laughs> and that would be Hotel Fremont in Fremont, Wisconsin. They also have a bangin' Ruben. So if you like Rubens, the bar and Hotel Fremont are gonna be the picks for you. Hotel Fremont is also on the water, so this is a really great summer option. Next, we're moving on to my favorite fried shrimp place, and that is gonna be Stroh's in Hortonville. It is just downtown Hortonville. They also have a two pound meal deal, which we've gotten a couple of times. It's a pound of wings and a pound of fries, and it's like $12, and they're good too. So definitely recommend either the wings or if you get the shrimp basket, it's essentially the same thing, but shrimp instead of wings and their shrimp are so good. It's kind of like a lot of these other things that I've mentioned and I said, well, I can't find a better one in the area. They're the best fried shrimp in the area that I've had. I haven't found a better one yet. So definitely check out Stroh's in Hortonville. If you find yourself in the Clayton, Nina area, check out Beehive Barn and Grill. They have recently renovated this building. It used to be closer to Highway 76, and their new building is just beautiful. It's a great place to go in the summer as well because they have those garage doors that open up. I would recommend their black and blue burger if you like blue cheese and blackened burgers. That's gonna be the one, so good. This was a recent visit, um, City Limits in Menasha. They had a deal that was fried shrimp. I can't remember how much it was, but it was like a couple cents or something, like 30 cents, let's say, for a fried shrimp, and you could order as many as you wanted. And then I also got the Parmesan garlic fries. They were so good, oh my gosh. I had never heard of City Limits before. This is in Menasha, um, highly recommend. If you're looking for more higher end dining and the best steak you've ever had, 
Field and Fire in Greenville is the place to go. I usually order the filet mignon and it has never disappointed. It seriously does not compare to any other steak that I've ever had. It is simply the best and they have a really cool atmosphere. It's a smaller restaurant, so it feels a little bit more exclusive and they have really good drinks as well. My next recommendation is Milwaukee Burger. This is in Appleton. This is actually where Max took me on our first date and where we went after we found out we got an accepted offer on the house that we're currently in. So it's just been a kind of a cornerstone for happy moments and memories and they have really good food there. I would recommend getting the cheese curd burger. I think they have a spicy one and a regular. I would recommend getting the regular cheese curd burger and then get an extra side of burger co sauce on, on the side because you're gonna want that for your french fries. Get the hand cut fries, they're so good and obviously they have a large selection of beer and other drinks there too. It's just a good place for even during the week or on the weekend. And then for a cute local brunch spot, check out Kakana Coffee and Tea. They have really good grilled cheese and tomato soup, and they also have really good chai lattes as well. If you find yourself a little bit more south than Kakana, you can check out Two Brothers Family Restaurant in Oshkosh. They make really good cinnamon swirl French toast, and all of their sides are really good too, but the cinnamon French toast, oh my gosh, it's so good. So go to Two Brothers. If you're looking for a good sub, Cousin Subs is semi-local and they have really good subs, the best cheese curds also. They have locations in Nina, Appleton, Oshkosh. There might be a couple other Cousin Subs locations mixed in there as well, but I usually get the club on the Parmesan bread and a side of cheese curds, it's so, so good. Just trust me on that, get the cheese curds. They are the best ever. And then last but not least, we have got Mai's Deli in Appleton for the best egg rolls. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found something new to try and maybe you're even a little bit hungry now. Let me know in the comments what your favorite restaurant is and what your go-to order is for here in the Fox Valley. I would love to know and love to try something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel in order to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.